I went to a leadership retreat a few years ago that brought me face to face with one huge obstacle that was keeping me from experiencing abundance in my life. I was simply not living as the real me all the time completely. I'd become obsessed with the ideal me. You know, the one who eats a healthy meal for dinner on Sunday night and gets up super early every Monday, having everything prepared the night before. Ideal me chooses an outfit that makes me feel free and confident, but not fussy, because I do not want to be distracted by insecurity. On this ideal me Monday, I drive the kids to school, I'm more gentle than normal, I pick up a coffee from Starbucks, and I always tip because ideal me is so generous. I drive out to the beach and leave my phone behind in the car. I start stomping my way down the sand. I walk, I pray, I pause, I listen, and then I start praising God and thanking Him for everything He's done. There are arms waving, pumping, and gesturing. Sometimes I just stand firm and raise both hands in worship, carefree and completely surrendered. But that's not really who I am. I mean, it is, it's just not the whole picture. Real me does pray and praise and worship, but real me is also Jess, the mom in the middle of the messy house on a busy day. Jess running out the door with people dragging backpacks, sporting untied shoes and breakfast in hand. Real me hustles to school, disciplining from the driver's seat as I help settle arguments over spatial barriers in the back. I mean, I'm also blowing kisses as the doors open and kiddos fall out. Jess ministering to humans, imperfectly and honestly. She's fragile. She's open. She can be like a sandcastle that melts the second other people are around. She's not ideal, but she's everything I've got to work with. You are the girl for the job. How do those words feel as you hear them? What do they mean to you? Are you wondering, what job? I already have a job. Do they feel kind of campy and silly? Like maybe kind of encouraging, but not really the deep-rooted life application, truth-filled message you're longing to hear. Maybe you think you don't have what it takes to be the girl for any job. Maybe you're too plagued by feelings of inadequacy to ever picture this phrase applying to you. I have a feeling that most of you are desperate to hear this phrase, perhaps not just from my lips, but from those who really know you. You do just about anything for someone in your life to affirm that you've got what it takes for anything. Throughout this study, we are going to dive into the Holy Word of God and see scenario after scenario where God placed fallible humans in purposeful places so they could be used by Him to change the world. We're going to see how they were all inadequate. Many asked for a backup and some just straight up tried to quit. We're going to pull out this root fear that so many of us walk around with, I don't have what it takes, and we're going to meet it head on with biblical truth. Spoiler alert, you really don't have what it takes, but your father does. And he's placed you exactly where you're at on purpose for the good of others, for your good and for his glory. I believe that we are the girls, women, gals, ladies for this season, for this time, for this life, for the joy and blessing of those around us at this exact appointed time for whatever job is before us because God has placed us here. We are able to live, to love, to move, to repair, to receive, to heal, and to hope only because of Him. Two truths are all we need. God has called each of us to be His ambassadors, and He does not make mistakes. Consider the alternative honestly for a moment. If you are not the girl for the job, 
That means there is no purpose in where you're at and what you're doing, that God will not be showing up to provide all that you need. And ultimately, this could all be a mistake. Fortunately, Scripture affirms with truth that this alternative is nothing but untruth. So let's move forward into the God-given, biblically-based truth that God's capacity will combat our inadequacy every single time. Mm -hmm.